Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 1 over 2n plus 1 over 4n squared is equal to 1 over 4n. Well, I want to combine these two together. But when I combine them together, I need to have the same base. So to get the same base here, to have a 4n squared right there, I have to multiply that by 2n. And when I do it, I multiply the numerator and denominator too. Because 2n over 2n is just 1, doesn't change it, but 2n times 2n is 4n squared. So now I have 2n over 4n squared, right, plus 1 over 4n squared equals 1 over 4n. Now that the same base, I can combine them, giving me 2n plus 1 in the numerator and 4n squared on the denominator is equal to 1 over 4n. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4n squared. And what that will do is eliminate the 4n squared down here, eliminate the 4s right there, and this n gets eliminated with the squared, giving me just n on the right and 2n plus 1 on the left. Okay? So now I'm going to subtract an n to both sides, and I subtract a 1 to both sides, giving me, well, just n by itself, and on the right hand side, a negative 1. Right? 0, really, minus 1, negative 1. So I can rewrite this here to be n equals negative 1. And there's my answer. So now I need to check that. So to check it, I'm going to rewrite my equation, 1 over 2n plus 1 over 4n squared equals a 1 over 4n. Let's put like negative 1 in for n. So we have 1 over 2 times negative 1 plus 1 over 4 times negative 1 squared equals 1 times 4, uh, 1 over 4 times negative 1. Well, simplify, 1 over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so we have a negative 1 half right here, plus negative 1 squared is positive 1 plus a 1 fourth equals, in this case here, a negative one-fourth, right? Four times negative one is a negative one-fourth. Negative one-fourth. So what's negative one-half plus one-fourth? Hopefully you knew that in your head. That's a negative one-fourth, and left and right-hand side are equal. Fantastic, confirming that we don't have a training solution here, and n equals negative one is our final answer. So let's recap. We're given one over two n plus one over four n squared equals one over four m. I had to rewrite this to have the same base, giving me 4n squared here, or 2n over 4n squared, and then I combined them, giving me 2n plus 1 all over 4n squared. I then multiply both sides by 4n squared, eliminating uh, the left-hand side 4n squared, and the right-hand side most, most everything except for this n is now left over. I then subtract one of both sides, subtract the n of both sides, giving me n by itself is equal to negative 1, written right there. So now I had to rewrite my equation to plug that and then plug back in negative 1 in for n, and in doing so, when I did that, I simplified, I ended up getting negative one-half plus one-fourth equals a negative one-fourth. When negative one-half plus one-fourth is a negative one-fourth, and that's equal to the left and right-hand side of negative one-fourth on the right there. So that's good, fantastic. We don't have an extraneous solution, and our final answer here is just n equals a negative 